All right, so the next step in the evolution of the Edge Runner line, I introduce to you the Swoop and the Classic Edge Runner. Now these bikes stand out for a number of reasons, but what I am excited to tell you is how they've evolved. So the evolution comes from your feedback and comes from us observing and learning how people use our bikes. And we found a really, really cool way to take your feedback and distill it into just a few options. Now, just to give you an example, for the Swoop and Classic, we now cover riders from 4'10 feet high to 6'4". That's a broader range than the previous bikes while still offering more gradations of, of fit in between. In the past, we had different colors, different spec, and we just found that there was a way to bring all those pieces together. So, so we really have simplified, and then the evolution, we're finding that these bikes are exactly what people are looking for. So let me take you through a few of those details, right? Starting up at the cockpit, we have the fantastic Ergon grips. They're comfortable, just easy to use. We have the stem. So the stem comes with a, a beautiful light uh, mount that's just innovative and clever, and we find that it moves the light into a position where it will point to where you're going while getting up and above the load you might be carrying on your porter rack and porter pack. The next thing, of course, every bike comes with porter rack mounts. So uh, if you decide to evolve your bike in that way, that's something that hasn't always been the case. Now all bikes have the porter rack mounts. Moving down, we have the fork. The fork is a super strong, straight blade, through axle, chromoly steel fork. So that's a bit of a mouthful. Let me just kind of tease it out for you. So the strength, of course, I mean, this is at the front end of the bike. This is where the safety really happens, but it's also where, where you're steering uh, engages with the road, right? And so one of the things that happens that, that you will see when you ride these bikes is the stability has gone up while adding a layer of confidence to your safety because there's just the engineering of through axle forks is, is they're just, they're the next level. They're the next evolution of safety for, for bikes. Uh, within that, we also are using the XT uh, through axle and front hub 36 holes. So just a really strong, strong front end. We pair with that the hydraulic line. So every one of our bikes now comes with hydraulic brakes. The things that we see that that really matters for with our customers is that there's much less tune-up necessary to keep your bike safe and running solid throughout the year. The next feature I'll point out is the saddle, really made not for racers as much as for day-to-day -day riders. So it's a little bit wider um, while not being so wide that it feels kind of uncomfortable to ride a bit longer distances. Similarly, we've picked the Acera drivetrain. So when you look at all of the different options we learned from in the past, the modern Acera drivetrain has a really wonderful durability while coming in at a price that, that's accessible for the average rider. And we're finding just the shifting quality and the durability are really meeting our needs perfectly. And the amount of gear, gear range is, is well-tuned as well to the needs of our riders going up hills, down hills, etc. Last thing I want to point out here is the, is the rear dropouts. So the rear dropouts are kind of, you know, this incredible point of contact between your rear wheel where that mounts into the frame. And you can imagine this is where you're loading up your bike. So you want that to be really strong. And in looking at and re-engineering the dropouts, we've been able to bring greater strength in, in a number of ways. So first of all, we added some struts into, into the tooling. So we actually, they're supporting the tail end a little better, but also we've offset the axle to the drive side about five millimeters. And by dishing the rear wheel back to the center line, we get two things. One thing, we get clearance for our wide tires. So the wide tires are critical for the performance of the bike, not going into a rut, being able to absorb the shock of the road, makes it more comfortable for your passengers. But similarly, you know, we've always put Schwalbe tires on our bike, but it turns out to be really important that you have a little bit of clearance for your chain for greater longevity of the bike. Similarly, we actually can, now have a, a, an asymmetrical dish to the rear wheel and what that means is effectively the the angles of the spokes are more even and and what we know is that makes for a stronger rear wheel which co coupled with a 20 inch rear wheel already quite strong is just optimal for longevity and for the the, la the, the lasting ride quality of the bicycle so with that said i look forward to showing you in the next videos some of the really cool deeper dive features to the swoop classic and all of our accessory line